Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My kitties told me that it would be a great idea to share with you some of the DIY do-it-yourself cat toys that they love. They're very easy to make and some of them might be already laying around your house somewhere doing absolutely nothing and we're about to change that. So I'm gonna be sharing with you five DIY cat toy ideas that are super fun and of course eco-friendly. So let's begin. Number one, craft paper. I think craft paper is the easiest way to give something super fun to do um, to your kitty. And craft paper can be um, slightly different. Uh, usually when I say craft paper, uh, this is what I mean. It's a paper that you get when you receive packages. First of all, you can just get a flat paper and make a ball out of it, just like that. Just make a crinkle it like that. And uh, you can make it smaller, you can make it bigger. So just try to do it like this. And you get something like a ball. And kitties absolutely love this. It's super fun, it's crinkly. Jacqueline, you wanna come? You wanna try this? Come here, baby girl. So that's number one. Um, and the other way how you can use it is just Seriously, just lay it flat. <laughs> Come baby girl. Just lay it flat on the floor like this. You can try to make a little fort out of it or something like that. You will, you will see, um, based on your cat's interactions with the craft paper, you will understand how they like it to be. Is it flat? Is it like more like something, like a little sculpture in a way that you can um, create on the floor? There's another um, packaging um, craft paper that comes when you order something. And it could be like this, which is really fun as well. So any paper that comes, as long as it's clean and not colored, as long as it doesn't have any glitter or anything like that, you can just do this. And then you can do this. And then you do this. And kitties, they just really, really like it. Uh, yeah, super fun, super easy. Um, cheap literally it's free especially if you uh, just get it um, when you order something sometimes i just leave the box open uh, with the craft paper and kitties just go crazy over there so it's really fun and um, i highly recommend trying something like that number two paper bag now this is uh, something very similar to craft paper because essentially it is um, paper and it's sort of craft paper but it's a bag so what's cool about it is that kitties like to hide in small things. Puddles, excuse me, what are you doing there? Come here, baby. So you see kitties already, they, <laughs> they like the sound of the, the paper. And so I think they're in an activation mode. Uh, so with the paper bag, again, it's free. You can just get it whenever you're buying something somewhere. Just make sure that it's clean. There's nothing like no food leftovers or anything like that. And what's very, very important here is that you just need to cut the handles because cats can, um, if their head goes uh, through in here, they can, you know, harm themselves and we don't want that. So just make sure that you cut the, the handles. Just like that and another thing make sure you don't leave this on the floor because as I mentioned in my previous video cats sometimes they like to ingest strings actually if we do something like this just tie a few knots look I made a new cat tour just now <laughs> this is so funny yeah if you just tie it up like twice just like that you can try offering it to your kitties and see if they like it because if it's tied i don't think they will swallow it like that it's not like a just a straight string so it should be pretty safe so you can try here you go new cat toy um that was jacqueline and your <laughs> i think she likes it and your craft uh paper bag fort is ready right here
Don't forget to add catnip, silver wine or valerian root for more fun. You can also put toys or treats in the paper bag and let the kitties forage it. Number three would be something super easy, again, free and eco-friendly and super fun for the kitties. It's um, cork from wine. And if you don't drink wine, that's okay. You can ask your friends if they drink wine and they can give you some cork pieces <laughs> for your cats to play. And some of them are actually really pretty. Uh, we have this one, uh, Pacific Redwood Organic Wine. It has this uh, really pretty um, trees over here. You can give those to kitties, they will roll it on the floor. It's really, really fun and it's free and it's eco-friendly and it's biodegradable. So there you go. Another idea I have, um, it's not maybe as eco-friendly as other options, but it's something fun that you can do with your kitty um, and just make sure that you pick it up uh, after your playtime. So you can take this uh, caps from like milk or juice or even like yogurt something like that, and use this uh, to play hockey with your cat. Again, make sure you don't leave it on the floor once they're done because you don't want them to chew on it. Number four, wooden clothespin. Another super easy idea for a cat toy is just the simple wooden clothespin that you might have laying around your house. A few things I want to mention about letting your cat play with the, the clothespin like that. Just make sure that the surface is smooth, the edges are smooth, and that the metal part, make sure it's not rusty because if you're actually using it for your clothes uh, and the water gets on the metal, it's possible it might be rusty and of course we don't want that. So make sure it's clean and the edges are smooth and won't chip off easily. Number five, crinkle ball made out of crinkle paper. Now, this one requires a little bit of work to, to make it. So, um, how did I come up with this? Paddles, he really likes those um, crinkly uh, balls from, uh, you know, that you can buy from Petco, Chewies and other stores. And I know that they're not, likely they're not um, safe to chew on and he really likes to put his teeth in those, uh, that paper. Uh, I mean, it's not really paper, but it's called crinkle paper. So what I did, I was trying to research non-toxic, um, eco-friendly crinkle paper. And I did find two companies that sell it and you just buy uh, like a flat piece of crinkle paper and then you can do essentially whatever you want with it. And I will make sure to uh, put the links. Tadas, come here, baby. I will make sure to put the links to the stores where I bought this. And it does say that it's actually a baby safe. It's used to make um, toys for babies. And I'm pretty sure that, you know, this is like, hi, baby boy. You want to play with it? I know he loves these toys. Come, I know we'll play with you in a second, okay? So this is the crinkle paper and we need to cut. Uh, this is gonna be 17 inches. So I would cut, I would cut four inches, about four inches. 
in width. So it's about like this. This is our piece. And now I'm just going to fold it. So now you want to tie it up right here in the middle. Just make sure it's really tight. So you should get something like this. And you can tie it up even more if you'd like. And just make sure that you cut those um, leftover pieces. Something like this, you can just do, like straighten up the edges like this. This is kind of what you get in the end. You can crinkle it more. And there you go. You got a pretty cool and fun toy in the end. It makes a super cool noise. Just like that. And Bowser is ready. No, he actually left. I think he's hungry. Um, yeah, so highly recommend trying something like that if you're crafty, if you have time, if you want, you know, to do something creative. Otherwise, you can use the other four toys that I mentioned that are, you know, they're absolutely free. You might already have them in your house. They don't require any work or any assembly or anything like that. So yeah, it's totally up to you. Do you have any DIY cat toy ideas? This topic is super interesting to me. If you have some ideas, I would love to hear them. This is it for today, my friends. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and if you found it interesting. And please consider subscribing to my channel to make sure that you see all of my future videos. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon.